Howdy folks. We're gonna today we're gonna do a video on the Ovonix X1 Pro. I use this charger a lot. Um, this is a relatively inexpensive charger. Uh, it can charge anything between 2S all the way up to 6S and two at a time if you'd like. It does have a five volt two amp USB output here on the side and an DC input on the back if you want to use it. Um, it does not come with the leads for the DC input. But it does come with the AC input, so we just go ahead and plug it right in. Wait for it to start up. So this is your main screen. There's no actual charging capabilities from this screen. This is simply your display screen to see the status of each individual charge port. So you take your charge leads, I already have them connected. You'll get these in the box, as well as a few others that come with it. Just pick your right lead, the correct lead for your battery. Simply plug them in on each side. and connect your battery all right i've got both batteries connected now we plug in our balance port or balance uh, plugs as you can see this balance plug has a little ridge on the top of it that ridge goes up and we start from the 2S side. Make sure that your battery leads are connected to the same side as you can see. I have this battery lead connected here and I'll put the charge or the balance plug all the way from the right hand side on the 2S side, starting at the 2S side. And we'll do the same for the one on the left, okay? So as you can see, each individual battery is plugged into one side. We have two batteries. So this is this is your main screen. This is going to show um, basically shows your temp the temperature, the voltage, uh, each individual cell voltage, and it displays the status, which is idle. It's currently idle. It's not charging. Uh, in order to charge these batteries, we have to start the charging process one side at a time. So we simply press the charge back button one time. As you can see, it went to CHA, which is on this side. It's marked right there. So we're on the CHA side. Now I do have um, the Ovonix 6200 MAH batteries. This is a 7.4 volt 2S. So we press and hold the uh, charge back button. Go up here, select our task. And I recommend uh, balance charging this. You can do like a storage charge or a discharge um, for storage. If you want to store the battery for an extended period of time, I recommend balance charging it every time it does prolong the life of the battery. This charger is capable of charging other types of battery as well. Uh, most common is going to be LiPo. Oh, I plugged the balance plug on the wrong side. So on, again, I plugged it on the 6S. It actually needs to be, always start from the 2S side. All right. All right, let's restart that. There we go, now we got a voltage. You can see our cell voltage is 3.8. Um, you can charge these batteries up to 4.2 volts per cell. So we'll go up to 4.2. Anything higher than 4.2 will shorten the life of the battery or cause it to, or could cause it to explode or cause a fire. So we don't want that to happen. This is a 2S battery, 7.4 volts. Now our target current 
is our our amperage our target current amperage is set by the MAH so if you have a 6200 MAH um, you put a decimal point between the 6 and the 2 which is 6.2 um, I do have some 5800s so you would charge this at 5.8 simply select that voltage hit enter and you can choose your charging voltage of course if you have a smaller battery you can go all the way down to 0.1 and all the way up to 16 amps. In this case, we're at 6.2 because we have a 6200 watt battery. 6.2. And now we're ready to start the task. Simply press the enter button one time on start task and you're rolling. So you can see CHA is charging. If we press our charge button, our charge back button again, that puts us over to the CHB side, which is on this side. And we'll press and hold the CH back, just like we did for the CHA side. Again, our perimeters are pretty much set the same as we want them. Um, let's go back here. Balance. We want a balance charge. This is a LiPo battery. Um, we're going to charge any... Any of these can be charged up to 4.2 amps, so we're going to go set this at 4.2. Cell count is 2S, and again, this is a 6200 mAh, 6.2 amps. Hit start task, press enter. And now our B-side is charging as well. Now if you hit the CH or the charge back button again, it brings you to that home page, uh, CHA and CHB charge side. So now it will give you the um, progress. You can see this one's at 57%, that one's at 68%. And your individual cell voltage. Now in order to stop the charge process, if we're in our main screen, we simply press the charge back button and you can do it one of two ways. You can either press and hold the charge back button and it'll automatically stop or you can go and press the enter button and that also pauses it or stops it, sorry, and puts it in idle. So that's how you operate the X1 Pro. You can now disconnect it, plug it into your car, and enjoy uh, your RC vehicle.